In this video, we will present the vector representation of signals. This representation will help to simplify the design of a digital modulator. Let's start with a revision of vector spaces. And a vector space is a set of elements, called the vectors, that have the following properties. It's necessary to define a law of internal composition, the addition or the sum, where this composition applied to a couple of vectors will produce the sum of these two vectors, which is another vector. And it's necessary to have another law, in this case of external composition, the product with the scalars, complex numbers or real numbers, where the product of an scalar with a vector is a vector. And these two laws, the internal and the external composition laws, must satisfy some conditions. The internal law, the addition, must be commutative, associative, uh, a neutral element or zero vector must exist in the vector space and the inverse element that added to a vector produces the uh, zero vector must also exist in the vector space. For the external composition law, it must be associative, a neutral element must exist, typically this is denoted as the one, the product with one produces the same vector, it must be distributed with respect to the sum and it must be distributed with respect to the product with an scalar. This is basic theory about vector spaces. In particular, we are interested here in Hilbert spaces. Um, the simplest way to define a Hilbert space is that it is a vector space with an inner product associated. Remember that the inner product is also known as dot product or a scalar product. The notation is like this. This is the scalar product or the inner product between two vectors x and i. And the result of this operation applied to two vectors of the space is producing an scalar. This is the reason for the name scalar product. And uh, an inner product must satisfy several properties. For instance, this one, the scalar product between x and i, is equal to the conjugated scalar product of y and x. If we have uh, complex vectors, uh, we have the associative uh, property. The operation must be non negative and it is only equal to zero for the zero vector. These are the main properties of an inner product defining a given Hilbert space. But the most important question with respect to our subject is that the definition of an inner product is, uh, is defining a norm for the vector space. And this norm is a measure of distance. And basically the norm Measuring the distance is the square root of the inner product of a vector with itself. Or what is equivalent, the squared norm is equal to the inner product between the vector and itself. The norm that is induced by the definition of an inner product is associated to the measure of distance between two vectors and the measure of the angle between two vectors. The distance between two vectors is just the norm applied to the difference between these two vectors. And the angle can be obtained as the argument of the cosine of the ratio between the real part of the inner product, in the case of complex vectors, and the product between the norm of the two uh, vectors that are uh, analyzed. Because of the definition of the inner product, the norm in modulus satisfies an inequality that is called the cauchy schwarz inequality. The norm, uh, sorry, the absolute value of the inner product 
is lower or equal than the product of the norms of the two uh, elements. And the equality only happens when the two vectors are a linear combination of the other. The definition of the inner product is not unique, and each definition gives rise to a different Hilbert space with different characteristics for these measures of distance. If the purpose is to help in the design of a digital modulator, the appropriate definition for the inner product of two signals is the integral of the product of the first one with the complex conjugated of the second one. Because with this definition, the norm that is induced, the square root of the inner product of a vector with itself, is equal to the definition of the square root of the energy of the signal. And the distance that is induced by the norm, norm of the difference between two vectors, is equivalent to the square root of the energy of the difference between two signals. In the design of a digital modulator, two important factors were the energy of the signals that were, that, uh, were selected to implement the modulator and a measure of similarity or dissimilarity, a measure of distance between signals. And here, with the norm of a vector, we have the definition of the energy and an intuitively appropriate measure of distance of dissimilarity between signals is proportional to the energy of the difference between these signals, in this case to the square root of this energy. Therefore, this definition for the inner product in the uh, space of signals is appropriate taking into account the objectives that uh, the objectives of the design of a digital uh, modulator. Thank you.